Hi guys, Glader here. So today I have a video about something that happened a little while ago, but I didn't know about it, and that was that Blizzard made a huge mistake. And what that mistake was, well, I'll just show you. But first I want to talk a tiny bit about what I've been doing. I've been working on my own MMO, this so I haven't uploaded any videos recently. And that's coming together well, but here's what Blizzard did, and I don't know how or why or the specific details of it, but sometime in Warlords of Draenor, Blizzard accidentally leaked themselves um, the uh, structs that represent the packets, which basically are DTOs. Now, you can't just mem copy these, because that's not how Blizzard packets work. Uh, they use their own serializer, and so there isn't a direct struct to binary representation. You can't just take stuff off the wire and mem copy it. But there's 20,000 lines of packets, and there's some pretty chunky ones, and they're pretty interesting from not just a World of Warcraft emulation standpoint, but also just to understand how you might implement some of these features that are in World of Warcraft in a network game. So for general MMO development, this could be an incredibly valuable resource. Like, uh, I don't even know what's... These are... I, I only touch Wrath of Lich King for some stuff, so... There's a lot of packets here that I don't recognize. I don't know, but let's... Let's just skim and see if we can find a good one. I'm not really... Let's see. Challenge mode, all map stats. Interesting. So, uh, the server... This is a server packet, and maybe you send a request related to this. I'm not sure. But it basically contains a vector of a map ID, the best completed time, last completed time, best metal, and then best spec ID. I don't know. Challenge modes. Those aren't in the game anymore, so I don't know. And I didn't do them too much. But wow, that's interesting to see how that pack is implemented and how Blizzard represents that in the DTL. Now, to give some background, and this is going to be um, assuming a little bit, these are generated structs from Jam, Joe's Automated Messaging. Blizzard Create, created a uh, their own basically little programming language called GM, where you define files like protofiles from Protobuf, um, and then it generates a struct, a DTL that represents it, and it generates the serialization deserialization code. So what we're seeing here is probably the structs generated from GM itself, which is very interesting. If the serialization code is also available, wow, that's a big deal. But I don't know. I actually don't know enough about this leak, and I don't know where it came from. And it's just pretty crazy. Like, look at that. Wow. Uh, what's this? Pet battle Q status. I don't. Uh, let's find maybe maybe we'll scroll find a more interesting packet. But that's pretty much the video. Blizzard messed up, and Warlords of Draenor is gonna be in a particularly interesting, gonna be particularly interestingly advantaged by this leak compared to emulators such as Cataclysm, Mists of Pandaria, Legion. Etc. Now I'm not too worried about Vanilla Wrath and TBC because those are mostly finished. Let's see, there's a lot of pet stuff. Criteria update. Interesting. What was that? Level up. There's just so much stuff. What's that? This one's huge. Auction outbid notification. Let's see what's in this one. We've all been outbid on auctions. Really. Info, some some info about it, and it's a. Uh, and you can see the info structs up here. So you got the item ID, random properties that might be like the random enchant. I'm not sure. Item bonuses. I don't, you know, I I don't know what that is. <laughs> some modifications. I'm not sure. Auction item ID, the bidder who outbid you, I guess. And the item. Well, yeah, the bid amount, bid I minimum increment, interesting. Very interesting. Uh, I think maybe that shows up in the auction house window. Interesting. Let's scroll down a little more. Um, client socket gems. I don't know when that packet would be sent. I don't recognize that one. Steve, one more interesting packet, then we'll end the video, because there's not much else other than this. And you can see there's a lot of them.
uh, query guild info response. Guild name, ranks, emblem style. Oh, okay, so you can get some guild information. Maybe when you're clicked on their guild tab, and it loads, uh, it loads all the guild stuff. Interesting. So you know the border, the background color, the emblem and stuff. Interesting. So yeah, these are pretty cool and highly useful for emulation and just general MMO development. Great reference for if you're like, hey, I want to build an MMO. If you don't know how, the Blizzard's built the billion dollar one, so you could always reference this because these are uh, DTOs and some of these you could actually just use directly if you wanted to in your own game. But that's all for this video. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope to bring you some more information in the future about this project that I'm working on. And until then, see you in the next video.